Hey, the scrap jaw coming at you again with Ubuntu 1804 and jack installation. We got DOS Geeks auto install script that's going to help us along. And then uh, at the end, I'll give my final thoughts on 1804 after messing with it for about a week. Here we go. <laughs> Here we are on Ubuntu 18.04. We're going to set up Jack with Pulse Audio, as usual, and we're going to do a little something different with DOS Geek Script. Earlier I had a little issue with it, but it should work now. So we're going to go here, DOS Geek, on his GitHub. We're going to just clone. And then once you run that, we're going to CD into these auto scripts. Then we're going to run, actually you're going to chmod installer script. And then we can dot slash, and we can run this script as root sudo. I'm going to make it bigger for us. And this is going to update. And then we can select all things we install. We can install Telegram. We can install all kinds of cool stuff. A lot of this is just his personal whatnot. OBS Studio we already have in. We can do Caden Live in there. Steam. But what we're interested in is all at the bottom. KX Studio Jack setup. And this is going to roll along and do some install stuff. All hands free. And he's done some work on the script. It's pretty nice. Yes. Sometimes it's going to ask you yes or no, and you just follow along. And what this script is going to do is it's going to install the basics things that we need to do this jack particular jack setup. Get some coffee. And while that's running, we can even head over to my GitHub. Oh, he even pulled his jack starter. You can use Dosky script, or you can go into mine. And we can get clone this. I'm going to get clone mine. Because now we are ready to do this. So... Okay, so we can see we can go back out to our home directory. And then after that we can do let's find out what it downloaded. So Jack setup we can see is over here. We can see that. This is also something that this script would pull in. If we get clone. From my script, from my GitHub, do we just CD into audio scripts? I'll see my start jack.sh. What I'm going to do is again, any scripts that you download, you always have to ch mod. You have to specifically give them permissions to be executable. Now, before we do that, we have to configure. Cadence. Don't forget to do this because Cadence is going to tell you that you need to re-log in. 
So I'm going to do that real quick and then be right back. Okay, so we're back. Log back in. Now we go back to Cadence. Now we're in the auto group. Don't worry about the current kernel. Cadence doesn't realize that this kernel actually is okay to use. So we're going to go to configure, real time priority, set to 90, server sync, go to our driver, also interface, select your USB audio device if that's what you're wishing to use, which I recommend using a USB audio device. Set your input channels to zero, that way they're it will uh, automatically pull up what there is. So you need your input device to be, and your output device to be the same as the interface that you're using. Sample rate, know your sample rate. If you can't handle 192, don't go to 192. Know what your hardware can handle. I will set up my defaults the way I use them. Go to 128. I already do five periods per buffer because I know my hardware. Soft mode. And we're going to go from there. Okay. Actually, here's a tip. Go to tools, pull up your logs. That way we can see what happens when we start jack. All right. So pull up a terminal. chmod a plus x start jack sh. That's one. And we're gonna pull that up real quick. Pseudo that because here we go. Now here's our script. All the things that are in here should be good. Now mixer Carla is going to kill anything. That's just set up as a repeat. So in case something breaks and you need to restart it, it kills everything off. So it starts clean. Uh, we don't need A2J MIDI D right now, but we're going to leave that. Leave a non mixer. All these with the defaults. So there it is. Now, let's start that bad boy up. over here just pull up cadence running and started seven milliseconds cadence is up Here, let's resize this a little bit. Everything's working. I've got it in my headset. Let's see, where's... All right, now you can't hear me through here yet, but we're going to fix that. Get over to OBS. Still have webcam. Mute. And voila, now you have beautiful audio. Now I don't have any of my plugins in that are in that Carla rack because this is a fresh install, but how quick was that to set up Jack and get rolling? There's my OSC controller. It's a custom touch OSC app. 
layout. A little bit of glare. Let me get that off there. Yeah, that's good enough. Here's our non mixer. And uh, let's look at the VoIP sound. There's VoIP. See, I'm moving them. I can control all the things. Control all the things. I can even do that. There we go. Check it out. All right, so final thoughts on 1804. The installation went pretty well. Everything worked. All I did was grab my, my GitHub, install all those things. I didn't have to tweak anything at all. The only weird anomaly there was was closer to the end, once the Jack server was set up, I made the comment that you couldn't hear me, and I just stopped talking. But I heard it in the video, and you guys heard it as well. I was I was surprised that OBS with the default or rather the Pulse Audio microphone that was coming through my webcam actually cleaned up. I was using a gate and through most of the video you could hear I did that so you didn't hear my background noise. There was this weird hiss in the room or even through the mic I don't know if it was the microphone or if it was the room or what. But as soon as that reboot restarted, that went away. And then the webcam audio sounded pretty decent. Which was odd. So with that, then I switched over to my my interface mic and plugged it in the jack. Sounds great. Uh, there's just, that was one weird anomaly there. Now in general, how do I feel about 1804? Well, I tried to in I installed Steam and I loaded up Rocket League, and the graphics were broken. I installed the I installed the NVIDIA drivers, and then I installed the went back to the open source Nuvos, and I had no luck. Low frame rate, meshes were all garbaged up, unplayable. That was my experience with it. I have a 4790K, four cores, eight threads, running at 4.4 .4 overclocked, and 2400 speed RAM, 16 gigs of it, and a GTX 966 gig. It's an EVGA. And it's the, the smaller one. And I, I don't understand, because on KDE Neon, it works fine. On Ubuntu 1804, not so much. Uh, so maybe it's just me. Maybe it was just bad luck. Maybe they have some quirks to work out with 1804. Uh, 1604 is the base on Neon currently. They, I'm sure they're going to do a release of it and in 1804. But till then, I'm going to stay right where I'm at. I'm using KX Studios repos pretty much flawlessly on my system and until KX Studio updates to officially support 1804 then I'm going to stick around there my other complaint is the way that GNOME handles your window placement it's not a works it's not a nice workstation DE so on Neon wherever I set my windows they stay I can log out and log back in I can shut down come back in and everything goes right where I put it. And I can do some advanced stuff with that also, depending on how deep I want to go with it. But for right now, like the default is really nice. All my audio stuff shows up on one desktop when it boots. Everything else stays on other desktops. Uh, Ubuntu 18.04 does not do that with uh, the current way that GNOME is set up. There's probably an extension for that, but I don't know why I should have to install an extension for something like that. Um, so that's all. That's thoughts and other things and ramblings and whatnot. And have fun, and we'll see you next time.